Well, hello, everybody. It has been a hot minute since I have made a video. I think it's probably been a month. I think it's probably been a month. So if you follow me on Snapchat at Taco Joy, you'll get updates of what's going on. We are completely redoing our backyard and our deck area and stuff like that. So if you're interested in seeing stuff like that or just daily fun, follow me at Taco Joy on Snapchat. That's kind of my new, it's like uh, video texting with you guys. So it's kind of fun. I've actually been home for over three weeks. So had a lot of time to get some stuff done and go through some stuff. Got my handy dandy bucket of trash. So let's talk about it quickly. First thing I went through, look at this, it's huge. This is a Pantene shampoo and it was, it's for medium thick. It's okay, it's Pantene, it works fine, it's cheap. I use this a lot of the times when I ran out of body shampoo to shave my legs and stuff like that. I know TMI, but it was so big that I had, I feel like I had to use it for pretty much everything more than just shampooing my hair. Yeah, it was okay. Would I repurchase it? Maybe someday. Not right now though. You know, we all got so much under our sink that we need to go through. That's kind of where I'm going with a lot of the shampoos. This one was not my favorite. This is the Big Sexy Hair Color Safe Volumizing Shampoo. It was okay. I didn't feel like it volumized my hair, gave it any volume. I didn't feel like it had a really great smell. So it was one of those that it was big. I probably got it on a major sale. It was cheap at the time and it cleaned my hair, but I didn't think it was amazing. So no, I will not be repurchasing this one. Went through a glucosamine. This is to help your joints stay lubricated and move freely within your body. And it has vitamin D in it as well. Does it help your joints? Some people say yes. Some people say that this is all like snake oil. I don't know. We had it, so I took it. I guess when I quit taking it, we'll see if I notice that my joints are any stiffer. I've been doing a lot of walking, a lot of Pilates reformer classes and things like that. So I might notice. I'll let you know. Went through another one of these Pantene hairsprays. Uh, we travel with these because we don't take the aerosol ones with us and my husband likes this one. So I buy this in bulk. He likes it. This one is my favorite. Went through another one of these. The Bedhead Masterpiece Massive Shine Hairspray. I love this stuff. It smells like Skittles. You've seen it in probably every single one of my empties videos. Yes, I repurchased it every time it goes on sale. I have a few of them. Love them. Bliss Body Butter Maximum Moisture Cream. I did not think that this gave my skin any moisture. It smells really good and it felt really good for about the first 10 minutes it was on my skin, but then my skin got really dry feeling. Let's see where the alcohol falls on the ingredient list because that will usually tell you. Oh, there it is, alcohol. It's in the middle, so it doesn't have... You know, a lot of the times alcohol is like third ingredient and you're going, mm -hmm. well, that's why it's not moisturizing. So I don't know. Um, maybe this one was just not for me. So I would not purchase this one. This came in, um, it was the Beautylish that, it wasn't this year's Lucky Bag, but it was last year's, two years ago, Lucky. I think it was the first time that they ever did one. And this was one of the products that came in it. So I finally used that up. Yay, me. My husband went through a Fahrenheit 32 men's cologne by Dior. No, I will not be repurchasing this. I want to try Savage on him because Johnny Depp pushes that one. And I think he's delicious. I went through this toner. I really liked this one. It was a mist on toner. My friend Linda from Goddess 1207. This was one of the items that she gave me when I went to visit her along with there was a whole, the whole skincare line of this that she gave me so I'm totally using that up and I liked this one I didn't spray it on my face I put it on a cotton ball and then um you know use the cotton ball on my skin Chanel Mademoiselle 
love, love, love this. I have many of these. I always have that. That's my signature scent. I absolutely adore it. It's the only fragrance that whenever I wear it, people go, oh gosh, you smell so good. So we all like to be told that, right? So uh, yes, I love that one. Pumpkin Pecan Waffle Hand Soap, Bath and Body Works. Have these in bulk, not necessarily this scent, but I have a bunch of those. So yes, I do repurchase those. I think I use these to, um, for swatches or sometimes to take off my makeup, but I always feel like these leave a film on my face. So I always have to cleanse after these. Sometimes when I'm downstairs here watching TV, I have them in a drawer over here. And if I'm really lazy at the time, but I just need, to, you know how sometimes you just need to get your eye makeup off. You just have to get it off because you just, you just have to get it off. So I will go and grab one of these and sometimes they're dried out. So I'll put some water on it and rub it together and get it moist again and then I'll start removing my makeup. But then I always go upstairs and cleanse again. I have two of these Inglot gel liners and the only reason that they're in here is because they dried out. And I, you know, did my little spatula and tried to get them wet again but I couldn't do it. This one was brand new. I think I only used it once or twice. Number 77 and number 78. I love their gel liners. I just didn't use them enough. 78 and 77. They're really, really good. And yes, I would repurchase them. Um, I just didn't get to them enough to use them up. The 78 I really like because it's not black. It's a almost a gunmetal color with a light blue-ish tint to it. I really like this one a lot. And you know, they get stuck in the back of the drawer and I forget. So I'm not gonna repurchase these right now, but as I am going through my stuff and using stuff up when I'm all out of all gel liners and stuff like that, I would repurchase the Inglot ones. I really did like them. Youngblood, this is a foundation in deep sea Deep Sea Hydrating Complex. That's not the color though. Oh, the color is sand. Oop. Can you read upside down? There we go, Young Blood. And I like Young Blood Cosmetics. I'm, I have a couple of items that I've been testing out for over a month now, and so be watching for a review on them. I am, before I do, when the company actually sent them to me, so before I do an actual review, when somebody sends me something, I really use them. So I am really close to hitting pan on one of them and that's when I will tell you what I think. Cause I think when you use something just a couple of times, you, you kind of get a first impressions, but if you're gonna do a, re a real good review, in my opinion, you have to really give it a good go. That's why I like empties videos. Cause by the time you've used something up, I think you have a really good idea as to whether or not you liked it or not. The Young Blood Foundation, I liked. It went on very nice, smoothing. It didn't get all in my pores, so that was a good one. NYX. This is, it's one of these lip balms, and these are good. I like this one. I used to carry this one in my purse, but um, it's like a a flesh tone. Oh, there it is, so you can barely see it. It's just like a flesh tone lip balm. Went through a Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream SPF 35 and this is in the color light medium and I have a couple more of these so I don't need to repurchase them. I like their BB creams. They're a little thick. If you don't like that thick almost sticky feeling you ne I need to powder after I use one of these because otherwise you get that tacky kind of feeling. If you don't like that feeling you're not going to like this because you can it doesn't set up so much on your face. Um, it doesn't really dry to a powdery finish. It just you can tell you have a cream on your face. If you don't like that, you're not gonna like this. It's not light, put it that way. Went through another Tarte. What is this? It's a tanning thing. This stuff, oh, I swear I really, really, really wanna like it. And every time there is a point perk with Sephora or something like that, I always try it again. And it just, I never get color from this. I, it's a waste of my time. An hourglass veil, and these I really like. I have one of, I have a bigger one. I have this on today underneath my foundation. It's 
a really good moisturizing primer. I really enjoy this. It's good. It's a mineral primer. It's really good for mature skin, in my opinion. It just, it feels really good. I feel like it holds my makeup. It doesn't slide off. Went through, finally, this sucker was so old, but I went through a NARS concealer, Radiant Creamy Concealer. This was in the color Custard. I have a couple more NARS concealers, so no, I will not be repurchasing, but I do like it. I did like it. I did like it. I do like it. It's okay. I like it. Yeah, it's nice. I've been on a no buy for two months and I, the only thing that I bought has been brushes. So I haven't bought any makeup. And so I've been really going through my stuff. Yay me. So my point is I have concealers that I need to use before they go bad. So no, I'm not going to be buying anymore, but I did like that one. The Balm and it's Staniac. And I had to use this up. I have another, I have actually two more of these. It gets gloppy when it starts to get old. So you really need to use it up before it gets to that point. And the other, my other one is getting close to that and it's a big one, so I'm really working through these. I like this, it does stain your lips. It's for, well, how do you explain this? It goes on like that and it stains. You can put it on your cheeks, you can put it on your lips. It's kind of a multi-purpose product and once it gets gloopy like this, it's um, it's not as liquidy. Normally, it's more liquid form, but it does stain. So sometimes, if you don't want to, you know, put what I like to do is when I'm gonna try to wear a red-ish lipstick or maybe a nude lipstick that really washes me out, I will stain my lips first and then line them and then put on that nude, and my lips have a little bit more color. I put this in there because it was pretty good. Um, this is the Dr. Dennis Gross, and it's Alpha Beta Glow Pads for Face. Exfoliating Self Tanner, yeah. And I actually got color from this, so I put that in there because I was impressed with it. You know, because I, I keep trying the Tarte, and I can't get color, and I tried one of these little pads, and I got color. I concentrate for wrinkles by Strivectin SD and I believe this came in one of my little Strivectin kits that I got for aging skin. This one I think was good. It, it was a cream formula. It was pretty moisturizing. This is a moisturizer that is for the face, neck, and chest and I can't really remember if it did a really good job. So I guess if it's not a standout product then I wouldn't repurchase it. Josie Marin, I love this stuff. The whipped argan oil. I got this on Hot Look for like $12 and I think it's normally $30. Mmm, can still kind of smell it. See, all gone, I pretty much wiped it out. I pretty much licked it out. No, I'm just kidding, but it was so good. I love this stuff. It smells so good. Watch for her on Hot Look because when her products go on sale, you want to snag them. And one more thing and we're done. Yay! Went through a tretinoin, a 0.1% tretinoin. Is that how you pronounce it? Tretinoin. Yeah, tretinoin. This is Retin-A for your skin. Helps with your fine lines and wrinkles, and I won't be caught dead without it. And that's it, guys. Yay! So I'm gonna edit this probably, we're on our way today to a Warriors game, the basketball team, the Warriors. And so this will give me something to do in the car. And I will edit it on the way there, upload it hopefully tonight at the hotel. Hopefully they have good internet at the hotel. And, and then I get to chit chat with you all this week. So I can't wait, I miss you guys. I haven't talked to you for so long. Um, if you follow me on Snapchat at Taco Joy, then we can talk. Or on my Instagram at Taco Joy, we can talk there too. Hope you're all doing great. Be well, my friends, and we'll see you in the next video.
we are totally redoing our backyard. And they're out there moving boulders that are huge. And Blue just came in. So let me close the door. Oh, went through a metamucil. Do y'all take this? Y'all know what this is for. Hm. Enough said. I don't know. I don't normally use these. I put this in there. Why did I put this in there? Because sometimes I just got to get it off my face. Just got to get it off. <coughs> Excuse me. Whoa. Flying makeup. I don't know why I keep trying it. I really want to like girls. Oh, that's so gross. Did this have a tanning agent to it? And one of these. What is that, Joy? Well, let me tell you. It is for um, older eyes like mine. Oh, this is not for eyes. This was for the face. This one doesn't stand out to me. There was a Murad eye cream. Oh, you know why? I don't remember. I mean, you know why? I don't remember because I don't have a brain. This was something else is why. I have an eye cream in the same kind of container, but I used it up and I filled it with another eye cream product, so never mind. Oh, the hot mess! Oh gosh. Almost dropped you. Almost dropped you on your head.